Yeah, I just did a little video uh, just a little bit ago for Brother Todd. Uh, been seeing 311 on his videos all along. And um, just about 22 hours ago, there was a video um, posted about uh, the virus and everything, and it had 311 on it. So it, like, caught my eyes. So I listened to it and everything. And there's actually some Im good information on the video, so you might want to go check it out. But anyways, right after that, which is really strange, because earlier today, I heard, uh, in my spirit, I heard um, God leads his children along. I don't know if anybody knows the song. Anyways, I put it on my um, my list that was for uh, songs I've heard in the spirit and um, uh, uh, encouragement for the body. And uh, uh, I knew the lyrics and everything all up to that song. And then after the video that I posted that I saw that made me think of Brother Todd, okay, I see um, that video um, that I had, uh, like put for watch later, um, for brother Todd and I had watched it and it, it, and it like brought back that to my mind. And so I'm going through looking at different stuff and everything. And, um, when I saw that video pop up in my feed, the one that said 311 was like on March 3rd, uh, at 11 PM, it was like a newscasting. And what was concerning about it uh, was, uh, the, the content that was in it and everything. And then it had another little story, uh, but it mostly had to do with the virus. Um, but there was another thing that was actually, um, kind of interesting, um, a site that was developed for, um, um, keeping track of, um, more accurate of the numbers and everything. And, uh, it was telling a little bit about that. And, uh, it was a kid that did this program. Okay, I guess like a genius kid or something. Anyways, so I thought that was interesting, so I put that in the video. And then, um, right after that, I went back to the video feed and everything, and, um, I heard in my spirit, and I kid you not, this is, this is weird, because I'm thinking, you know, most of the time I'll get hymns and stuff like that, or little sayings, or a scripture, or something like that. But I heard putting on the Ritz. Okay, I kid you not. I heard putting on the Ritz, and I believe the uh, uh, the artist is called Taco. <laughs> I don't know, strange, but that's what I heard. And I was thinking, putting on the Ritz, why would I hear putting on the Ritz? And the, when I'm thinking putting on the Ritz, it's like living the high life and then um, uh, a, like party and glitzy and, and glamour and money and rich people and things like that. That's what I think of when I think of that song. And I'm like, why is that? Unless it's what our inheritance. Or could have to do with money something that's getting ready to happen. I don't know. Because of the way things have been going, it could be something to do with that. I don't know. But um, I don't know. Maybe uh, other brothers and sisters in Christ out there may have gotten something else. And seeing a lot of the things that have been posted and... Um, different brothers in Christ are talking about and dreams that they're having, it's very possible that could be the next biggest thing that's going to happen. Um, I know that they did a, uh, and I did post a, well, I didn't post a video myself of it, but I shared a video um, in, uh, in my uh, playlist and stuff and looked at it. Excuse me. Um, they did... Uh, they were talking about doing a ban on cash transactions uh, uh, over 10000 in Australia. And they hadn't actually passed it, but they were talking about doing a like a parliamentary bill or something like that. But this was like six months ago or something. They actually passed it. Now, I just saw a current thing on YouTube about it, and it was like a... Um, uh, analyst or something doing and everything and they actually and there was somebody over there and they actually have passed it and um, they don't understand why they uh, will be doing it and stuff but um, they uh, I should lock the door I guess whenever I go to do this because it happens every time anyways but uh, uh, anyways they they passed that and it was a parliamentary thing that they passed and banning 
cash transactions, no cash trans transactions whatsoever over $10,000. And I thought to myself, as soon as I saw it, okay, it may not be where everything is completely went that way, but it's headed that way. Maybe this is one of the first things that happens and then others follow suit because they're trying to go over into that Bitcoin cryptocurrency and all that, which we know has been doing it for a while. I've been seeing actually quite a few things that are uh, kind of alarming. Uh, and there is stuff um, in uh, uh, that I put in some of my playlists and stuff about Elon Musk talking about um, taking over and basically will um, be basically the only auto insurance pretty soon because it'll be so a uh, better deal for everybody and more affordable and this and that. And then he has that Starlink also, which is supposed to put an internet web all around uh, with satellites and stuff up in the atmosphere all the way around the earth that's going to bring cheap internet to the entire world. Can you say net, grid, communications, targeting, things like that. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's part of that too. Uh, I don't know. I did have some of the videos in, in mind or you can search it up yourself and talk. It's uh, Starlink. That's the one that's for that. And, it, and then there's quite a few of them that are talking about Starlink, but um, they've got the satellite because they've been launching satellites and putting them up there already. So they've got quite a bit of them, but it hasn't come all the way online yet. So, um, and then there was another thing, something about getting into the, um, the power industry also that Elon Musk is trying to do. So I don't know what's going on. If they have him spearheading all of this and him being the center hub of everything and getting things set up and then will be taken. I thought a long time ago also I've talked to many people about this, not so much shared it on here, but that I do believe, honestly, God put Trump in place. He is maybe not the best candidate most people would think and everything, and most people don't trust him. I don't believe everything that he says, and I don't trust everything he says, but I know God put him there. God put him there for a reason, just like, honestly, God allowed Obama to be in there you know, maybe, maybe to wake some people up, you know, I don't know, but I know there was a reason for it, but he didn't get to go completely overboard. Now, um, there was a lot of prayer before the election and everything and, uh, people asking for, and many people had said way before a long time ago that we should have a business person running America because it needs to be run more like a business in the best interest for everyone, not just us, not just them. People have been saying that for years. I'm 50 years old and I know I've been hearing it for a long time. So maybe a lot of the young ones have never heard that, but I've heard it for a long time. And uh, I do agree that there's a lot of things that are really messed up and everything. And no, Trump is not the savior. Trump is not going to fix every little thing, but he will... Uh, help a lot of it from going downhill and he will be there doing things that will be for God's purpose if God's the one that put him there which I really truly believe he was he was put there by God God raises up kings and takes them down you know that okay so why would you say that he didn't because even if nobody thinks that he's technically put him there, okay, God does things don't happen unless God allows. The enemy can't even come and mess with you unless God allows it for a reason, okay, for judgment, correction, or to bring God glory, okay? Those are the main reasons, maybe some of the only reasons, but um, that is a lot of the main reason why, but... God did put Trump in there. God did allow him to be in there. Okay. And I do believe he's going to get another four years. Okay. No, I don't really think we're going to be here for the other four years. I don't believe we are. And I don't believe we're in the middle of the tribulation like some people believe either. But 
Everybody, everybody has a little bit different belief on it. And I want to also shout out to Pastor Tim. Things that uh, he was talking about on the video early, uh, earlier. I'll probably go and post comment and everything. Uh, yeah. I I got exactly what you were saying, and that's a lot of how I was taught. So I'll probably post a comment over there for you and everything, and hopefully you'll get to see it and stuff. But, yeah, I'm going to uh, go ahead and upload this in a little bit, and hopefully you can get to check out some of that information. And uh, Brother Todd, maybe get to uh, get um, get the, um, the things that need to be... Um, need to be looked at and taken care of done uh before we um depart which i really do truly believe it will be soon too i have a disagreement with some of the people in the household but i do believe it's true and i do believe it's soon so um i'm gonna cut the video short here and uh because it's like twice already so um uh, I need to, if this isn't sufficient, I'll just have to re-record it and hopefully I get to say everything that, uh, I had in here because it kind of lost my train of thought. So, um, there was something else I was going to say and I can't remember it now. So if I remember it, I'll do another little quick one and post it up too. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is. This is big. So, yeah. Take care. God bless.